Behold the process for making the BP logo using Adobe Illustrator. So when you start Illustrator, go to a basic CMYK document. First thing you want to do, switch over to the pen tool. P on the keyboard or click over here. All right. First off, you want to make a single point. And then using guides, go down, click and hold and drag diagonally to create this curvy shape. All right. Now using the move tool and holding option, you want to duplicate and drag. Next step is to right click or control click and choose transform reflect. Make sure vertical is selected and choose OK. Now you want to bring it back over and connect it to the other piece like so. And now I'm going to choose the direct select tool which is A on the keyboard or you can click over here and I want to make a little box around the top two points. Now I can control click or right click there and choose join. Same thing on the bottom. Make a little box over the point. And instead of right clicking, I'm going to go to object path join, which is another way to do it. And make sure corner is selected. Now, if we did everything right, this thing should be one piece. And it is. Great. Okay, next step. Go to the rotate tool, R on the keyboard, or click over here. And holding option, I want to click on the very bottom anchor point. Okay, and I want to set this to be 20 degrees. And I want to click copy and not OK. And that duplicates the pedal at a rotation of 20 degrees with the pivot of rotation being the bottom anchor point of the pedal. Now from here it's pretty easy to duplicate that action. All we have to do is choose Apple D on the keyboard. And if we keep hitting Apple D, it will duplicate the pedal rotation until it's complete. Just like this. Looks good. The next step is to basically we want to create individual shapes where the lines intersect. So in order to do that, we need to use the Pathfinder. So let's go to Window, Pathfinder, this thing here. And what we can do is make a box using the Move tool around the whole thing. And we're going to click this button here, which is Divide. Now what it did, you can see here, it put points where all the shapes intersect, there are now anchor points. And it appears as though it's been separated into individual pieces. But in order to work on the pieces individually, we have to click on the whole thing and choose Object Ungroup. That's a very important step, to ungroup it. Now when we click on it, it's just the individual piece that we choose. So the next step is to add color. So what I'm going to do is highlight the whole thing and make it green. So I'm going to choose this green hue up here. And in addition, I'm going to open up my colors palette here. Great. Next step, holding shift, click on the second row of petals, which would be this row. Let's call it a ring, the second ring. So I'm going to select all of these petal pieces because I want to change them to yellow. So they're all selected, and all I'm going to do is over here in the colors palette, I'm just going to slide this over to a more yellowy hue. 
That looks good. And I'm going to do the same thing to the next ring of petals. And with that ring selected, I'm going to drag this color slider all the way over to yellow. And lastly, I'm going to click on the innermost ring. You really need to zoom in for this step. And I'm going to change that color to white. Last step, I'm just going to select the whole thing. And up here, where the stroke setting is, I'm going to choose no stroke. And we're done. The BP logo. Beautiful.